our year 12. Um, this is a hopefully short video explaining the Vernum cipher and how to answer questions um, so you can actually work out and, and either encrypt or decrypt um, information that has been uh, encrypted with the, using the Vernum cipher. Um, with the Vernum cipher, the idea is that you would have this um, random key, uh, which would be, uh, we basically mix it with the plain text, so the original message, and that then will give us our cipher text. Now, it needs to be a random key, and I think I remember talking to you about this in the lessons, this idea of a one-time pad, so this truly random key um, which is needed, and it would need to be the same length as the original message. So very quick example, and I'm just going to need to find the laser pointer. Okay, so up here we've got the plain text, so we've just got two letters C and S, and we have our random key, which is 9 and D. Um, so the plain text, that's the binary value for the letter C, and this is the binary value for the key, which is the number 9. Okay, and then what's happened is you apply an XOR to these binary values to get a new binary um, value down here. And then the cipher text would be um, the result. It's hard to explain when it's all printed like that. So what I would like to do is show you an example and work through an example on paper. Um, and then hopefully you can have a go at some questions yourself. OK, so um, we're just going to do um, one example using just one letter. Um, so I'm going to start off with the letter a. So we're going to encrypt the letter A. Um, and uh, so first off, we need the binary value for that. So there we go. So I'm only using four bits um, rather than the full eight just to save time, but it works in exactly the same way. So what we need now is our key. Now remember with the Vernum cipher, um, the key would be random. I'm just going to use the letter G and we'll need our binary data for the letter G. Um, and what we're going to do with these is we need to apply uh, an XOR gate onto these. So each pair of binary of bits are going to be um, XORed. So remember that's exclusive OR, um, so it can only be one of them being a one. If they're both a one, then it would give us a value of zero. So if we move across here, we have zero and zero, zero, zero and one is one, zero and one is one, one and one is zero because it's exclusive or. So we've got zero, one, one, zero, which is actually the letter F. Okay, so remember here, that was our X or. So the letter F, that is what is sent. Okay. Um, uh, so what the user receives, or the, what the yeah the recipient, we've got zero one one zero. Now the key would have been agreed beforehand, so they will have the key, um, which is zero one one one. So to decrypt it, you apply the exact same principle. We're going to use the X or. So if we XOR each of these bits or these pairs of bits, we have. 0, 0, 0, 1, which as we know is the letter A. Okay, final example. I have a ciphertext message Q2Z and a key of hashtag W and the greater than. Um, so what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to um, work this out and to get the word from the ciphertext.
Okay, hopefully by this point you are able to have a go at the worksheet that I've set you. Um, let me know if you have any problems, answer all the questions on the sheet and I'll feedback when you hand it in. Thank you, enjoy.